Hey guys, it's Tatsuya. Today, I'd like to explain the district called Yukak that once existed in Japan. The much talked about anime, Demon Slayer, is to be aired for its second season in Japan. The story is set in the Yoshiwara district, attacked by some people because the area used to be where men buy prostitutes to engage in sexual activities. For this reason, some people argue that children should not be exposed to such underground performances on the anime. However, although the story takes place in the Yoshiwara district, there is no depiction of sexual activity in the manga Demon Slayer. In my opinion, it is also an excellent social study, as it clearly describes the problems that existed in Yoshiwara at that time. In the first place, Yoshiwara of that time was very different from today's one. In this video, I will explain the Yukak, the Japanese brothel, to give you a deeper understanding of Demon Slayer's setting. This account lets you know the news, food, culture, tradition, and other information about Japan. The videos are sure to help you when visiting Japan or getting at what's happening in it. If you are interested, subscribe to my. First, let's take a look at what the Japanese brothel is. Yukaku was a section of land surrounded by walls and moats where licensed prostitutes were gathered. During Toyotomi Hideyoshi's reign, prostitutes who used to disrupt public morals by operating their own business without considering social morals were gathered in one place and made to live in small houses surrounded by fences, etc. These houses were called Keijo Machi or Irozato, and the public management of prostitutes began. The most famous yukaku in Japan was Yoshiwara, located in Senzoku, Taitoku, Tokyo. However, it is now abolished by law. Many Japanese believe that women sold their bodies to become prostitutes for financial reasons. But only a few actually became prostitutes because of debt. The majority of them became prostitutes because they were guilty of theft or as being jointly responsible for their family crimes. However, in some cases, if they worked as prostitutes for a certain period, they were released from their status. At first glance, one would think that women were forced to work as sex workers as a penalty. But apparently, the laws of the time did not allow women criminals to be sentenced to death. So this was an alternative to capital punishment. However, the brothel was not just a place for women to do sex work. The women who worked there had to acquire various skills to deal with high status men. They had to learn how to play the zither, make tea, and acquire culture to converse with the nobility. It is not hard to imagine how difficult it was for women in those days. One of the most severe problems in the Yukaku brothels was venereal disease. At that time, Japan did not have sufficient medical science and malnutrition was also a problem. Gyutaro, the demon in Demon Slayer, has numerous mottled patterns on his face and body, which is related to the fact that his mother was affected by uh, syphilis. 
The story shows the misery that prostitutes suffering from syphilis were not treated as human beings in Yoshiwara at that time. Yukaku is a closely connected district to Japanese culture, and it faced lots of discrimination and difficulties. Demon Slayer does not shy away from portraying such issues, and I hope that everyone will learn about the red light district social background and not just see it as a place for sex. That's all for this video today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.